The two candidates for lieutenant governor in Virginia faced off tonight with much of the focus on Republican E.W. Jackson. Jackson's gained attention of late for strong comments on gay marriage and abortion rights. Our Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg joins us live tonight from Arlington. And Jeff, uh, well, fireworks were expected. Did the men deliver? Well, we did see some fireworks tonight here, Leon. It was a spirited but civil debate here at George Mason University Law School between Democrat Ralph Northam, a state senator and doctor from Norfolk, and E.W. Jackson, the Republican, who's a lawyer and an outspoken minister. E -W, e -W. At an event focused on Virginia's economy, it was debate on other issues that led to the strongest reactions. The topic of mass shootings, Virginia Tech, the Navy Yard, prompted discussion on mental health care. I don't, I don't want to scare you, but I've got some mentally ill people in my family. With Republican E.W. Jackson saying some with serious mental illnesses should be institutionalized. Yes, at least the last two or three uh, major mass murders and killings have been by people who, who are mentally ill, who perhaps could have been treated somewhere, kept somewhere where they couldn't have hurt themselves or hurt others. I'm sorry that you have people in your family that are mentally ill, but how sad to think that you would go visit them in an institution, Mr. Jackson. We can do better than that here in the Commonwealth. And towards the end, debate over Jackson's past inflammatory remarks, criticizing non-Christians, people who support abortion rights, yoga, and gay people. Whether they're said in a church or on the floor of the Senate, they're offensive. If I'm elected, I am going to serve all the people of Virginia, regardless of what their religious background is. Jackson tonight also expressing his long-held belief that marriage is between a man and a woman, on Northam expressing his openness to the LGBT community. The latest poll from the Washington Post shows Northam with a lead of 45% to 42%, which is well within the poll's margin of error. Live in Arlington, Jeff Goldberg, ABC7 News.